And welcome into the ballpark. Happy to have you with us. Major League Baseball on tap. It's the Detroit Tigers taking on the New York Yankees. First pitch coming your way next. Just about ready to go. Today's starting pitcher, Nestor Cortez Jr. What do we have on him? Well, he brings into this one an excellent strikeout to walk ratio on the season. And when you consider the amount of swings and misses that he gets and the fact that he's not issuing free passes, that's going to make him more economical in his pitch count, allow him to move into the middle and deeper part of ball games. So we'll see if that remains true in this one. Matt Veerling in the box now. No balls and a strike. That's in there. And the count is 0-2. Next pitch has popped up. Rizzo snags it for the second out. Hey, man, four pitches, two outs. That is an excellent pace. Riley Green at the plate with two away. Swings through that one. Now one and one. The one one. Hit weakly on the ground. Torres whips it to first. And that'll do it. Back now in the Bronx and towing the slab, Casey Mines. What do we need to know here? Well, that whip is just below the league average, and that's a good thing in this case, not allowing too many base runners. So on most days, he's going to go out there and compete and put his team in a position to win, and I expect to see that from him in this one today. And he's down 0-2 as he swings through it. Threw that fastball right by him, slightly elevated. That's a confidence boost for this guy out there on the mound. See if he continues to climb the ladder. Next pitch has popped up. Balls it in, and there's one away. And here is Anthony Rizzo, second in the American League in home runs. That oh. one misses. Ball one. What a no. One down, base is empty. Yeah, there's a the ball. Okay. And he walked him. You know, I think he's okay with that outcome. It, it wasn't an intentional walk, but he wasn't exactly trying to attack the zone either. And now big number 99, Aaron Judge. And first offering is fouled off. Righty to the plate. And a swing and a miss there. Big time jam right there. I hate it as a hitter, but standing in center field, you can't help but chuckle a little bit. The next pitch misses, and it's one and two. Popped up. Torkelson hauls it in, and there's two away. Good hard fastball up in the zone right there. They look really good coming in, but so hard to get on top of as a hitter. Giancarlo Stanton at the plate now as he chases after that one. Hit hard. That gets through. Throw stops the lead runner at second. Two on and two out. Everything Not came out. together yeah. for him. Really good swing game. right there. He got a pitch that he knew he could handle. Allowed himself to stay back just a tad bit longer. And he hit the ball on the screws. On the ground to short. They take the force out. That ends the frame. Welcome back. to the batter now. Terry Carpenter. That's in there. Strike one. 
Cortez, an all-star a season ago. He features a four-seam fastball, a cutter, a slider, a changeup, and he works in a two-seamer. Got him swinging. And one out now. He's really good hitting the baseball the other way, so credit the pitcher for having him out in front of that pitch. Clearly, he had him fooled. And first offering is fouled off. And now the lefty. And he takes a strike. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. Now it's Javier Baez. That one's in there, 0 and 1. This lineup's going to have to find a way to make him work a little harder out there on the mound. I mean, he is just mowing him down. He's settling in. You've got to make him uncomfortable. Maybe step out of the box, call timeout, do whatever it takes. You know what they say, he couldn't have thrown it out there any better than that. And certainly the case no that time, One just strike. flared it back behind the second baseman and dropped it in there. And that's a strike. Swings and misses. It's a strikeout. Slider got him for strike three. One left for. Back in the Bronx. Bottom of the inning. And stepping in for the Yankees, Oswaldo Cabrera. And the right hater back to work. And first offering is fouled off. Way out front for strike two. Real ugly 0-1 swing right there as a pitcher. Got to be hunting for that strikeout. Keep him off balance. Send him back to the dugout. The punch out there. And there's one away. Here's Jose Trevino. Next pitch has popped up. Maytom makes the catch. Two up, two down. That was a good, hard fastball with some nice ride up in the zone right there. Hitter looked like he was on it, but I think that velocity at the end just beat him. Instead of a line drive or something hit deep, it's a pop-up and an easy out for the defense. And that On to the third inning, and here's the first baseman, Spencer Torkelson. And a good fastball to start him off at strike one. And a strike quickly into an 0-2 count. Both pitches were down in the zone. I think you set your sights a little bit higher because you'll have a tendency to chase if you look down in that area. And next up for the Tigers, Eric Haas. And that is in for a strike. 0-1. Haas will handle the catching duties in this one. 30 years old now. And he was drafted in the seventh round back in 2011. Left field. And a couple of quick outs. So the batting order turns over. Here's the left fielder, Akil Badu. And that one is in for a strike. And there's a foul ball. And he'll two. Popped up to the left, into foul ground. Donaldson makes the play, and it's out number three. Back here at the ballpark, ready to go for the last half of the inning. And now here is Harrison Bader. Popped up. And Bader is set down. And there's one away. Back to the top of the lineup, and next for New York, Oswald Peraza. Swings through that one. 0-1. Oh, one. Oh, one. Peraza measures six feet even, 200 pounds, and he was born in Venezuela. 0-2 oh, as he waves at that one. And the right-hander deals. And now one and two. That's a really good job of laying off the 0-2 high fastball. Is going to make that pitcher really have to respect this hitter, even though he's behind in the count. And down on strikes. And there's two away. Anthony Rizzo steps to the plate. He reached out a walk his first time. And a pop-up. Right side. Foul territory. And makes the play. And that's out number three. 
back at Yankee Stadium. Start of the fourth, and stepping in is the speedy Matt Veerling. And first offering is fouled off. And he pumps it a strike. Full there by the changeup. And in a hole right here. He's got to try to shorten up a little bit, put the ball in play. Swing and a ball popped up. And there's one down. Here's Riley Green. In there for strike one. That's in there. Left hand hitter waits. This to center field. Bader racing after it. Hauls it in after a long run. And that quickly two away. And here is Kerry Carpenter. And that one hammered way back there. And it's a one hopper off the wall. Should be extra bases. And that's a two out double. First pitch swing in, went up there with a plan to be aggressive. Pretty much just a textbook double into the gap. And when you can drop one in there between the outfielders, you know you're making the turn at first. Just an excellent hey. swing. Runner in scoring position now and a good opportunity to push across the first run of the ball game. The 2 Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Well, they're looking to get on the board first here after that clutch two-out double made this inning interesting. Just off the outside edge. It's a ball and two strikes. This one popped up. Foul ground first base side. And the inning is ready to go. Bottom four. And stepping in for the Yankees, Aaron Judge. Pitch misses. And that's ball one. You know, these Yankees definitely being aggressive at the plate, but I think it's fair to wonder if they're being a little over aggressive. I'm specifically talking about the first pitch. These guys are swinging more than 80% of the time, which is fine if you're scoring runs, but that hasn't been the case today. Swing and a miss. And the count, one and two. Next pitch misses way outside. He's been pitching well, but we'll see what kind of adjustment the hitters make this second time through the order. We'll know if he's got really good stuff in this one or not. On the ground to third, and it goes just foul. Righty delivers. In the air to left center. Veerland makes the grab. One up, one down. John Carlos Stanton at the plate. Scoreless here, but now he's got to deal with a guy who's got some power. Got to be careful when you're talking about a hitter with this type of slug and uh, these type of home run totals. Tosses to first. Already two gone here in the home fourth. Here comes Glaber Torres. And that's in there for strike one. If I'm at the dish right now, I am aggressive over the heart of the plate. This guy's been filling up the strike zone, so you know you're going to get a good pitch to hit. And as nasty as his stuff is, you might as well take all three swings. Two down, nobody on. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. Fooled on that pitch, got a little anxious, and now in a two-strike count, he's going to have to widen out his stance, choke up on the bat, and really make sure he has pitch recognition before pulling the trigger. Now all leave it up. And a foul ball, he stays alive. And a pitch. In the air, center field. Squeezes it, and that is that. So the Yankees back in the Bronx. The batter now, Javier Baez. Strike one. Well, these Tigers, as this game goes on, have to be more disciplined at the plate. Chasing pitches has been a big part of the story. We've seen it quite a bit today. It's been tough for them to make contact at times, and it just doesn't look like they're seeing it very well as a group. Swings and misses, and the leadoff man set down in their half of the fifth. Maton now in the box comes up empty with a swing there swing and a miss and it's nothing in two and on the mound you know confidence has to be pretty high with all of the swings and misses he's had him eaten out of the palm of his hand pretty much all game so digging in Spencer Torkelson going on That 
gets in there. No balls, two strikes. Love how vocal the umpire is today. No doubt in the hitter's mind. Got him! And how about that? It's an amazing... And welcome back. Now it's the switch hitting outfielder, Oswaldo Cabrera. And a foul ball. You know, these Yankees, as you probably noticed, haven't been shy at the plate at all. In fact, they've probably been too aggressive at times. They're swinging at more than 70% of the first pitches they've seen today, and it's just not working out for them. Stays alive. So those first pitch numbers tell me they should try to find a way to slow this game down a bit. Things have been moving just too quickly for them at times. And one and two. And that one is lifted in the air. Veerland settles underneath it. And puts the squeeze on that. One away. Now here is Jose Trevino. First time up was a pop out. Just oh. off the outside part of the plate. Fly ball center field. He gets there to make the play. A nice running grab. And there's two down. Now that's a tough play for the infielder ranging back into the outfield. There's part of him that's saying, hey, where are you at, outfielder? Call me off. But he stayed focused and made a nice catch right there. Just a weak fly ball this time. Carpenter flashes the leather on the right. Cortez back to work. Out towards right center field. And a quick out number one. Akil Badu up now for the Tigers. Swing and a pop off in foul ground. Donaldson pulls it down and there's two gone. Veerling in the box with two gone. And takes a look at a called strike. Comes up empty on the swing, 0-2 now. Well, on the mound, very efficient. Able to produce an outcome, it seems like, within the third or fourth pitch of just about every at-bat. He dives, but can't hang on. That's a base hit. The tag, and that's out number three, inning over. Here in New York, and now Bader up to the plate. The pitch. And that's downstairs and outside. Bader, 28 years old, and he's a former National League Gold Glover. Out there to center. Veerling gets under it. And he makes the catch. And there's one down. Next to hit, Oswald Peraza. On a line out towards center. Pulls up, and that's in there for a knock. No, Man at first with one gone. And now Anthony Rizzo. Mize moves to first. Peraza back on a dive. Rizzo, multi-time All-Star, a member of the 1,000 Hit Club, and he was a sixth-round draft pick back in 2007. Runner on the goal and safe. It's a stolen base. Looks like the base runner had a pretty good feel on the pitcher's move. After that pick over, seemed to settle in and he took off right away. Nice job of stealing second right there. Out towards left center. Badu on the move as he glides back. Makes a nice running catch. Runner tags at second and he's up to third safely with two gone. Now it's Aaron Judge up to the plate. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. Ground ball, left side. And that will end the inning. Back for more from the Bronx. New inning getting started. And now the DH, Riley Green. Swings and misses. And that is strike one. There's the swing and a miss. Pretty impressive. We haven't seen that pitch from him much, but he's got a really good feel when he throws it. Gets a piece, and it stays 0-2. Left-hand batter waits. 
Foul ball still 0 and 2. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. Well, they get the strikeout there, and what kind of stood out to me was that they weren't shying away from contact. Every single pitch was in the strike zone, and that tells me they wanted to attack him, and it paid off. Carpenter, the batter now, as he swings and misses for strike one. That's in there, and it's nothing in two. Ooh, missed a mistake right there. And that one is lifted in the air. And there's two away. And now it's Jonathan Scope. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. Back to right. Scope gone to the play. And that is that. Back now in the Bronx. Now it's the DH. Giancarlo Stanton. A wind of the pitch. Right side. Carpenter sizing this one up. And makes the grab. And there's one down. Labor Torres up to the plate. That's hard hit on the line. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. Out. Number two. Man, that's one of those at bats where you have to remind yourself it's about the process. He did everything right, right there. Nothing to show for it. But in your mind, you have to convince yourself that it was a very good at bat. Kicks and fires. That one oh. missed. He's been going one after ball. these guys one consistently. Strike. And as a result, he's been able to keep his pitch count low. Throwing the ball very well right now. Now fly ball to right center. Carpenter pulls it down, and that is that. Ready to begin the eighth, and the batter will be the shortstop, Javier Baez. That's in there. That's strike one. Cortez into his eighth inning of work, Singy. He's been good. Yeah, he's the type of guy that gets better as he gets deeper into the ball game. If you're going to get to him, you get to him early. They didn't do that today. We'll see what happens. Swing and a miss. Had him out front for the strikeout. Now the third baseman, Nick Maton. Drilled in the air, right field, way back there, and that is out of here. A towering shot. It's his eighth home run of the year. It's 90s fastball you have to live on the edges and hit your spots if you don't you'll get hit hard really good swing there patient and waited for it. it was like BP all over again and now Spencer Torkelson that one down the line and foul ball rip to third and caught Yikes, that ball was scorched, an absolute missile, and it almost becomes self-defense as the fielder when one of those things comes oh, oh. screaming towards you. Watch your lips. Swung on, belted. That's back there. Gone. An absolute blast to left. His 14th of the year. It's 2-0. Breaking ball on the inside part of the play requires a hitter to stay really square with his mechanics. If you fly open with the front shoulder, there's no way you keep that ball fair. An outstanding job mechanically. He deserves that home run. Swing and a ball lifted left field. And he pulls up on it, and that's a hit. So, a man aboard. And now the center fielder, Matt Veerling. And first offering is fouled off. 
and a pitch. And a base hit into right. They stopped the lead runner at second. Now two on with two outs. Love how he let that ball travel, trusted his hands. Nice job of going the other way. Now a bullet to second base, but he's got it to end the inning. But the long ball was working in this inning. Not once, but twice. And it's two zip. It's Major League Baseball, and it's on the show. Ready for the bottom of the eighth. Here's the Yankees catcher now, Jose Trevino. That one's in there. Strike one. Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. Next offering misses, and the count one and two. So he's back out to begin the eighth. Been a really nice outing for him so far, Singy. He's thrown the ball really well. Kept hitters off balance, and he's been very efficient with that pitch count. But at this point, even though it's been relatively low, you start keeping an eye on it to make sure that he doesn't have any fatigue and injure himself. Donaldson, batting with one down, takes a strike. Up the middle, scope. Fires over to first. Two up, two down. A couple of pitches and a quick out. This one high in the air to left center. Badu makes the grab, and that's the third out. At New Yankee Stadium in the Bronx. We go to the ninth. And now the right fielder, Kerry Carpenter. Out of the bullpen for the Yankees, Clark Schmidt. This guy's a strike thrower. He's done an excellent job of avoiding walks so far this season. And next to hit for Detroit, Jonathan Scope. That's the third. Lays out, but he can't squeeze it. And he'll be safe at first. Now it's the shortstop, Javier Baez. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing at all. Schmidt, in his third season, he features a slider, a sinker, a slur, a four-seamer, and he works in a changeup. Right-handed reliever. Caught him looking for the K. Third time he struck out in this one, and definitely an individual performance you want to flush. He just hasn't looked very comfortable up there. Just one of those days. But when you're still winning the ball game, at least you can focus on doing your part to maintain that lead and getting that W. Two outs. Got him. Third out. Back at Yankee Stadium, we head to the bottom of the ninth. And now, Oswald Peraza. Mines back to work. Ball one there. Well, certainly doing his very best out there on the mound to bring that win streak to a halt. Lifted in the air, right field. Carpenter drifts towards it. Puts the squeeze on that one. One down. The Yankees looking to rally. Now the number two hitter, Anthony Rizzo. And that one wrapped foul. The why to kick the pitch. One and one. In the air out to center. Deerling moving under it. Yeah, there's two away. It's Aaron Judge now. Pitch misses there. And that is ball one. Two-run game with two away here in the bottom of the ninth. That oh, misses, inside. and it's 2-0. and oh. When you get ahead in the count, there's no doubt that the success rate goes up. And that's what he's been doing. It's made a big impact for him in recent games. Two and one on Judge. Bounce to the left side. Maton. 
on the first ball game. And the Tigers take game one of the series on the road. Terrific job in this game. He scattered two hits and pretty dominant. Efficient with his pitch count. Got himself all the way to the finish line and finished what he started. 2-0 your final here in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew, I'm John Chavez saying so long.